Good morning, grade threes and everyone. We are going to just be working on some multiplication again this week. I'm just going to quickly review a few strategies we learned last week, and I'll just show you how sometimes you'll see um, multiplication viewed in a different way. So 5 times 5, one of our strategies we did last week was counting on. So I could do 5 groups of 5, so or counting up by 5, or skip counting by 5, so 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 5 times, so adding on, so 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, so 5 times 5 is 25, you could do it that way, you could do skip counting, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, um, a different strategy, which we'll do here, 8 times 7 is, so was equal groups. So 8 times 7, so if I make 8 groups, so we got 1 group, 2 groups, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups, and in each group we have 7 we would have our eight groups, and in each group we have seven items. So we have seven here, seven, all of them have seven, so we can count up by seven, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, all the way up, or we can count each one separately. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if we did that, we would know we would get 56. Not the most efficient strategy, but um, it can work for you in some situations. And we have, so arrays, so for our last one, 12 times four, we have 12 groups, and in each group we're gonna have four. So four in each group. So we have four, got another four, another four in this row. We're gonna have 12 rows, 12 groups, and each one is going to have four in it when we do an array. And so if I wanted to, I could recount them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Or I can even count out. Maybe I want to count up by fives because I feel comfortable with that. There's 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. There's 10. Here's 15, here's 20, I've got 20 so far, 25, 30, 35, 40, and then 40, 45 is right here, and then I have 45 and four, 3 extra, so 45, 46, 47, 48. But if you feel more comfortable counting by each row by fours, you can go ahead and do that as well. Nothing wrong with that. It's just preference. Getting into bigger numbers, we want you to use some mental math strategies down the road as we are learning and practicing um, and thinking of what this really means. So like 12 times 6, for example. Well, really, that's just 12 groups and each group has 6 in each. So I can break it down and think of it different ways. I could think of it as 6 times 6 plus 6 plus 6. I could think of it as 8 times 6 plus 4 times 6. For right now, I'll give you the example. It's the same as 10 times 10 times 6. And so 10 groups of 6, right, is we know 6 times 0 is 0. And 6 times 1, 10 is 60. And how many groups have we used? 10. So we just need two more groups of 6. 2 times 6. So 2 times 6 we know is 12. So we just need to add that together. So 60 plus 12 is going to be 72. And to double check that, we could do two different numbers. It's going to give us the same thing though. Let's say for 12 times 6, let's do, I have to say I know 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and 
I also know what... So I have six groups of six. How many more groups of six do I need to get to 12? Another six. So six times six again is 36. And now I just need to add that together. And six times six plus six is 12 plus one carry over. One plus three is four plus another three, seven. So, oh, same thing, 72. Let's try a different one. If we did... Um, I know 8 times 6 is going to be, is 48, maybe I do an array to figure that out, maybe I just know it, 48, and I know that I need another 4 groups to get the 12 groups of 6, 4 times 6, and I know that's 24, then all I have to do is add that together at the end. And that's going to get me 72. Oh, all of them got me the same answer. I knew different things. I knew what 10 groups of 6 was, and then I that I just did this to figure that out. I maybe knew only what 6 times 6 is, but I used what I else, what I knew to help me figure it out. Same here, if, maybe I knew what 8 times 6 is. So use what you know. This is a strategy eventually you guys are working towards. But again, um, this is down the road and something to kind of focus on trying to think of while you're doing your work to help be more efficient and improve your mental math strategies. All right, well, have a great day, guys. I'm going to give you a couple questions here. So grade threes, you guys can practice this this week. And again, on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I'll send out an email with just some questions I want you to practice at home and send a picture of. This you don't need to do. This is just some questions throughout the week you guys can practice until then. So have fun practicing using your different strategies, your three strategies. Start thinking about some of the strategies we talked about at the end with using some mental math and what you already know. And have fun improving your skills. Remember, it's not going to be overnight that you're just going to get this like that. It's going to take some work, just like anything else. So have a great day, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.